And we're here with Jennifer Flowers now. Want to pour you a little glass of wine since you're in the twist bar? I love this. I love the twist bar. Isn't it cool? Uh, I watch you guys all the time, and I uh -huh. love that you're so relaxed and casual. It's just so different. Well, I, li I like this because it's like kind of like two chicks talking, right? It is. Two chicks. Yes. I wanted to find out from you, especially with the news lately. Mm. Not That's too bad. Good. Yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. We wouldn't serve you cheap wine, right? I appreciate it. <laughs> What, listen, what do you think of the Petraeus scandal? I mean, this is all over the place. Well, I think that it amazes me that these, this type of thing continues to happen. I mean, what we had Tiger Woods not all that long ago, mm -hmm. very high profile people. I think it's very unfortunate that it happened, uh, but it doesn't really surprise me. I just, I just kind of feel like there's always something like that around the corner. Sure, and mm -hmm. certainly uh, in your own life there was a few corners back, right? It was several, like... Several corners. You know, I yeah. think it's about 20 years ago that yeah. you announced publicly that mm -hmm. you and Bill Clinton had had an affair, right. and he was running for president, and it kind of rocked the campaign a little bit. It didn't affect the election, obviously, but... No, but I, because I made him a household name overnight, you see. That's well, true, Well, we had too. had that discussion. You and uh, Bill? Bill, that, that he said, my problem right now is that uh, you know, I, no one knows who I am. You know, I, I, I need that name recognition. No. And he said, you know, Kerry's got the Hollywood vote, and he went on to, you know, talk about the other candidates and, you know, the advantages they had, and that he really needed name recognition. Are you so serious? I'm very serious. And so when my story came out, he was, he was a household name overnight. This whole experience is not easy for me. I will start by explaining why I came forward to tell my story about my affair with Governor Bill Clinton. I really thought that coming out and telling the truth would set me free, mm -hmm. but it didn't. When's the last time you talked to him? Well, I, I talked with him actually after I uh, got a divorce and I moved into my home in Old Metairie. It was after Katrina, and I was at home by myself, and the phone rang. It, it said unavailable, and I picked up the phone, and it was him. And he wanted to come by my house and talk to me. Wait, this, this sounds unbelievable. Well, this I thought it was, too. I, I was taken back. I did not. That was the last thing um, I expected. Well, how would he find you there? Oh. <laughs> You're kidding me. <laughs> they know. I mean, it's easy for the President of the United States to find out things like that. I mean, he has all these resources. So to, what did you say? No, you can't come over? I said, no, you can't come over here. I, I, no way. Well, I said, you can't come to my house. And he said, "Oh yeah." He said, "I'll." Uh, he said, "I'll put on a hoodie and I'll, I'll, you know, oh, I'll jog, jog up there." Well, he he used to do that. Yeah, I, know. I said, "No, no," and I want you to leave me alone. And that was and it. And that was it. What that would have been 2005. You know, you are actually, in fact, we checked, we googled you, and you are on the list of the top ten hottest presidential wives and mistresses of all time. Did you know wow. that? No, I didn't know that. You're there with uh, Mar Marilyn Monroe, of uh -huh. course, Kennedy's uh -huh. alleged mistress. Right. Do mistresses ever get past that? I mean, what would you say to the Paula Broadwell and the Jill Kelly that are currently in this Petraeus Allen scandal? I'd say good luck. You know, baby, you better buck it up because it's going to be one heck of a bull ride. What would you tell Paula Broadwell now to do? Well, Paula, yeah, of course, Paula's married, mm -hmm. and uh, and I, you know, I just think it's so unfortunate that we have two families now in crisis. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, what would I Should tell Paula? Should she try to find Barbara Walters? Uh, she number needs to and go buy my book. <laughs> and follow your steps. Call me, Paula. <laughs> I'll give you some really good advice. I mean, I have the benefit of 2020 hindsight at this mm -hmm. at this point. Well, you did survive. You're here. I am. You've uh, got a sort of new, possible new pilot on the way. Right? I do. New... We do. Yes, we do. Tell I'm us so, about that. Well, what, what is it, it? It's it's a reality show mm -hmm. uh, based on the Housewives concept. It's about seven ladies in New Orleans in our lives. And we follow you around and the other uh -huh. women. And what are you doing? Are you looking for uh, romance in this? What are you looking for in this new project? Well, now, Susan, I am always looking for romance. Yeah, right. <laughs> Who doesn't? Yeah. <laughs> uh, and being the cougar that I am. <laughs> no. <laughs> and which is part of the show. Uh -huh. It was my deal is that I tend to date men about 20 years younger. Baby, you ain't no saint. This is right up your alley. <laughs> That's going to make me look like a saint. The reality is not only that we're real people and not actors as such playing a role, but I mean, you know, they, they'll come into the bedroom. 
Okay, to some Jennifer extent. Flowers' bedroom. All right, <laughs> there she goes again. No, listen. <laughs> well, I, I admire you, and I, you. I'm glad that you survived this, and I appreciate your frankness thank in you. talking to us. And I wish you the best of luck. Oh, thank, thank you, you for Susan. Coming I, to I, us. I have a great deal of respect and admiration for you. You guys keep up the great work. Thank around you. Here. We will.